Number one, life hack. First thing to do in the morning before you even wake up, use that bar. I'll tell you why. So, it's a little bit like putting a... Meow. So, as soon as you wake up in the morning, literally my life is night before, I've got my kit laid out, so there's no excuses. T-shirt, I've got to wear before I go out in the streets of Dubai here. Uh, shorts, socks, the running shoes, watch is ready, heart rate monitor is ready, and I literally put the coffee on, I start to drink water, I rehydrate after, after sleeping, and then I'm on the bar doing hanging leg raises before the coffee is even ready. So why do I do it first thing in the morning? So the body's been fasting overnight, it's, it's dehydrated, and it's ready to do fasted training, which is super, super, super important to me. But I'm literally hanging on my skeleton. So my skeleton is taking the weight, not the back muscles, not the arm muscles. I'm staying quite skinny in my upper body. Um, even though it's quite, I'm quite muscular as a, as a runner, believe it or not, I'm, I don't want the upper body muscle, the excess muscle that I'll have later on in my life when I stop running competitively. So I'm hanging on my skeleton, and I'm just lifting my legs up. I'm lifting my legs up and I'm trying to keep my torso as, as still as possible. And I'm lifting my legs up five times 10, five times 10. And start off, if, if bringing your legs up to parallel, to perpendicular to your body is too much effort for you, and it might be because it's quite difficult to begin with to do that, just bring your knees up. And what you're doing is you're engaging your hip flexors, but you're engaging and you're trying to isolate your abs and especially your lower abs, those bottom two abs that need to pop out in order for you to have the six pack or the eight pack. Those abs will only come out with hanging leg raises. And ideally you'll work up from, if you have to work just bringing your knees up and then later your legs, and then what you could do is the progression from that, you do three times 10 and obviously you can add more reps. So you can do three times 15, three times 20, or five times 10, four times 10, five times 10, six times 10, or obviously you can add some weight. So you can put some weight around your ankles or you can hold a dumbbell, small dumbbell in between, um, in between your legs, in between your feet, and lift that up. So I use that to really, really pop out the bottom two abs, and that will give you the full set, which is the eight pack, which is what everybody's aiming for. And as a skinny distance runner, that's actually pretty easy to do. Most people are gonna tell you, oh, it's really difficult to make a six pack, it's really difficult to get, um, to kind of get rid of that extra body, fat, uh, body belly fat, especially around the midriff, and especially as you get into your 30s and 40s, it's a little bit more difficult. It's actually really, really, really easy. If you're a skinny distant runner, you've not got much fat on you anyway. In order to just build those muscles and make them pop out with a low percentage body fat, it's basically all about that, but that body fat. So if you're eating well, if you're eating clean, and you're burning fuel, and you're burning fat, which I'm doing five times a week, I'm going out for easy runs, I'm burning fat as a primary fuel source. So I always kind of exist on a low body fat. It's actually really easy to pop those, those bottom two out and, and have the, the full set, the eight pack or the, or the six pack. And, and, and I guess that's, that's what most people want. That's what most people are aiming for. For me, what's most important is that my core is strong, so not just kind of the front, but also the back and the sides, the oblique and the lower back, it's super strong, so that in the latter stages of a race, especially a long race, that's a marathon or 50K or 50 miles or 100K and onwards, is that my form stays strong. And it's so important for your form to stay, stay strong in the latter stages of a race, because then you're not, you're not using, utilizing other muscles, which will get tired very, very easily if they're not used to being used. 
you're not using those other muscles because your form is off and you start to see if you look at the start of a marathon and the end of a marathon the way people are running and how haggard people look in the latter stages is because they haven't got a strong core and they're not used to being able to engage that core and keep your form straight which is going to do everything for you and that's why people slow down in the last stages of a marathon because they've not got a strong course they start to run it in a different way and that makes them tired in different areas which leads to cramp which leads to strains which leads to muscle tears strong core and it literally takes me from bed put on the coffee hydrate and whilst i'm waiting for the coffee to be done three times ten it literally takes me I'm going to say a minute and 15 a day to have a really strong core.